What is up? Well, the anticipation is great. Too much to handle. I'm going to go out and shoot some coyotes tonight. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. The dog thinks she's going with, but it's a bummer for her because I'm going with my dad, not my dog this time. Maybe tomorrow for pheasants. We'll see. Stay tuned. Hopefully we make a dent in the coyote population. The first set we make here was one heck of a great set, and it only got crazier as the night went on. But I was just telling my dad, I was like, I've hunted here for over 10 years and have never called in and killed a coyote here other than when I'm deer hunting with my bow and arrow. So um, I, I, of course, um, just never give up on those spots. If you know there's coyotes in the area, find a different area to set up on and figure out a way to get to these coyotes, play the wind, and uh, just don't quit on a good spot if you know it's good. Just because you're having to kill a coyote there doesn't mean you can't start killing coyotes. And I know what I'm going to do next time I call that place because we had pretty good success. Oh, here's one right here. Get ready. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. I lost him. Okay, turn the call off. I'll shoot him. Woo. After shooting that coyote, I turned off my recording, went to restart the recording to make it a little bit easier for editing purposes. And of course, I didn't start the film again. And had two more coyotes come up, shot them both. Unfortunately, they were all mangy, but we moved on and went to the next spot. And we're thankful to be able to take a couple of sick coyotes out. One of the things I've learned when thermal hunting for coyotes is that one of the most important parts about, about coyote calling is being able to see downwind. If there's one place you can guarantee a coyote's going to show up, it's dead downwind. Especially if you turn pup under stress on they like to swing the lit wind. They like to know what's eating or what's uh, pestering one of their coyote friends. And um, so we really got to take advantage of looking downwind, being able to shoot downwind. In this case, thankfully, we did. Ready. Okay. He's almost dead downwind. Okay. Ready? I'm going to let him keep coming. You zoomed in. Okay. Right down the hill. Jeez, he's not very far. You see him, Dad? Well, you might be able to get him to come. Jeez, we should shoot that coyote. You kill him? Yeah, ready? Dad, we have to shoot this coyote. He's not that far. Shoot him? Yeah. yeah. I'll get it, I'll get it.
Another one coming from the left, down here. I think that one's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Good shot, my man. Oh, you could probably about shoot that thing, too. I'd wait. Oh, never mind. Now shoot, Jess. Might as well. Okay, hold. Just hold. Just you were way left. I was. No, Dad, you were. Yeah. I was. Yeah. Oh God, that me. There you go. Put it on his shoulders. He didn't even flinch. Throw another one at him. Put it just above his back. My friend Jess was behind the gun on this one, and he made an excellent shot on that one coyote. Uh, the second coyote that came through, he was a long ways out. I'm thinking he was wearing a flak jacket because it looked like a pretty good shot. Um, Dad also flung a few rounds at him, and they just, they're just they a small target. It's a tough shot. But we were happy to get the one. We picked him up. We headed to the next spot and had more success. Man, what an awesome night. He does. Probably a Jaren coyote. I will in a minute. I think I'm going to shoot him here pretty quick. Yeah, he's missing a leg. Ready? That coyote came in after quite a long set. We saw about six of them up on this ridge, and um, after calling to them for a while, we finally got one convinced. The trick is, if they're hung up out there, you gotta switch calls up. Sometimes it's just a certain frequency that they get really interested in, and they're like, I'm coming. So this one, finally we got him fooled to come in. He had a broken leg. I don't know if he was hit by a car or what happened, but I put him down at a real nice close range, never even zoomed in. Kind of wish I would have, might have had a little bit better footage, but put him down. And after I put him down, we decided to move on to the next set. We killed a few more coyotes um, in a few other sets with no footage, unfortunately. Um, but this uh, ne next footage you're gonna see, uh, it was quite the adventure, check it out.
I should have shot him. I know I said I should have shot him. I had him in my sights. I was ready. Oh, two more right here. Two more right here. Two more right here. Right here. Yep. Turn it back on. They're turning around. Oh, I missed. I missed that other one. I thought I hit him. He's down. Okay, ready? Ready? What? Where's the other one? Mm -hmm. Right there to the right. I don't see him. Oh, out there farther? Yeah. Running? Yeah. That about wraps it up for the the video. Thanks for watching. Um, here's our kill for the night. Um, we had a pretty successful go. Turned out getting seven. I wish we would have gotten them all on camera, but it's sometimes it's just tough to uh, get your hunting in and your filming in um, together. But um, thanks for watching. I can't wait to make more videos. I I look forward to the spring when I can shoot some turkeys, um, get some of those on on camera. I'm, my mission is to get one with a recurve on camera. We'll see how it goes. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and uh, hopefully I'll have more content for you. That means I've had more adventures.